when I talk about Messiah seeds and going into this doctrine, I just want to put it out there that I'm not here to diss any other group. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions through the dark web. That's how I take my questions um, about the 5% nation. They're asking me about the origins, not really the origins, but more so about the doctrine of the occult and how they feel like most of that, the custodians of that is the 5% nation with, you know, Clarence 13X and but then even going into the nation of Islam, and I'm not here to knock that. I'm not here to knock that. I would just say, in addition to that, though, you should study what what we call in hip hop the black dot, because all of these groups come from a black dot or a source, a point of origin. And when you start to study the Theosophical Society, you'll find out that they were the black dot. They were the original custodians of all of this information, true information though about the earth and. How it's, you know, um, a lot of planets actually stem from the same source or the earth. And the earth represents a medical center for beings to come and get healed and to heal their karma and stuff like that. But it's kind of tricky here on earth because when you get on earth, you get caught up in what's called lesson. So people are starting to realize when you get caught up in lesson... It can get very painful. You could feel like people hurt you and they slight at you, but it may be a part of your lesson. The goal is, is to not, I'll just say this, because this is really addressing someone particularly. Never get caught up on what happened to you. To the point where you start to identify individuals that may have did this to you as the bad guy. Remember, that's the lesson. The individual that did this to you may be long and gone, and you still holding on to the same problems. So now you are, have started a new record, and this is called karma. So now you start to play out things over and over again, over and over again. So the goal is, is to break karma. A lot of these groups were stem offs from each other and break offs from each other. They came from the same karma. And to really get deep into it, you got to go back to the East. You don't have to go back to the, to the uh, Jews. And you'd have to go back to studying the doctrine of voodoo and the bush and the shamans in Africa and getting into that to really understand the true source. But again, it's like I was saying on Twitter earlier, I was trying to answer this question. It's nothing to play with. It's really nothing to play with. This particular female, I think, is really sad because she got in contact with someone that was, and I've been telling people about this, that was a, a, a harmorphodite. And she went on a date with a harmorphodite and didn't know and got upset when someone else told her and kind of like took it out on the occult. And I always tell people, when you get into this, that's why I say you don't know what people are capable of. You don't know what people are and what people are capable of doing. As far as like, when I say doing, I'm talking about like shape-shifting and having powers. So it's important that you respect this this information because in a minute, like I was saying, this whole, like that, how this weather is right now, like it's really warm where I'm at. It's supposed to be kind of colder. We don't know if it's going to change or not, but we, what we do know is, is that they get ready to change all this currency. These weather effects represent liens. And eventually, there's a secret chamber in the tunnel and a group of people that are going to shift the weather totally on this planet really soon. So that's what's coming up, and um, it's going to cause a lot more viruses, a lot more catastrophes. It's not to scare people, but I'm just saying all that to say that you got to know you got you got to really let go of karma and records, and have like what's called a clean slate. But you, a lot of times, you may have to get an advanced reading or work with someone that can help you and walk you through that, because karma creates like it's like a record, a recording. It creates an imprint. Is what it does, and it can cause group karma to start time to start playing out over and over again, over and over again. And this is why you need prophets, because they help you to dictate time and what, what really, what you really need to be doing versus just doing stuff, you know. So hope that helped, man. Like, don't give up on the occult, and don't give up on finding, you know, the one for you. Just know that this is a world of a very rich world. The occult world is a very rich world. Um, people abuse it 
they do money rituals and then they go back and do another money ritual three weeks later trying to get money and it's like you should have waited five years they do sex rituals and they have this next again three weeks later talking about another sex ritual see what i'm saying like this thing has to be instructed in order for you to really get the full beat out of it i'm staying stay vigilant you study it